Hi, I'm Kate, and this is your State on a Plate from the Wisconsin Restaurant Association, February 2017. Since 2001, Wisconsin has had a uniform school start date of September 1st for public schools. Some legislators are hearing that the September 1st school start date doesn't matter as much anymore. This opens the door to legislation being introduced that would eliminate the September 1st school start date altogether or allow substantial exemptions to the law. Having a uniform school start date is important to the tourism industry in Wisconsin. In-state tourism is so important to Wisconsin's economy. In fact, 50% of Wisconsin's tourism dollars come from residents who travel within the state. There are plenty of families that don't have kids in sports or have children in grade school who can vacation in August. And we know that many families only have those last two weeks for vacations because of other summer activities. Prevailing opinion is still in support of the September 1st school start date. A survey conducted in 2016 by the St. Norbert Strategic Research Institute indicates that 68% of parents in Wisconsin support the current September 1st school start date. Call or email your legislator and tell them you strongly support the September 1st school start date. As we've reported over the last couple of years, the restaurant industry has been under increased scrutiny for labor law violations. In the fall of 2015, the Federal Department of Labor conducted a series of random audits in Madison as part of an education and enforcement initiative. Those Madison investigations unearthed violations yielding over three quarters of a million dollars in back wages due to 275 employees. The Department of Labor has not done auditing restaurants in our state. They indicated in 2015 that the initiative would be ongoing. Some of the Fair Labor Standards Act violations in the Madison investigations involved overtime, illegal tip pools, and improper hours for minor aged employees. This is a critical time to take stock of your employment practices to make sure you are on the right side of the law and aren't vulnerable to Department of Labor audits, or even worse, lawsuits filed by private attorneys representing employees. Call the WRA hotline team or visit the WRA website for even more information. That's it for now. I'm Kate. I'll see you next time for your State on a Plate.